Hey guys, in this quick tutorial we're going to talk about exporting characters with gestures and expressions uh, into your Photoshop projects um, to use in whatever project you will. Uh, so just as a precursor here, you need the pipeline version of Crazy Talk Animator to achieve this, uh, so keep that in mind. Alright, so let's get right into it. We have this uh, female front-facing character on the screen right now. Uh, the way I created her is I just took this uh, uh, character in her skibbies over here and just uh, took her into Photoshop and added some uh, yoga clothing on there. All right, so what we're going to do first is put our character into a pose. Okay, so if you want to get your character into a pose, there's a whole animation library you can go to over here under the animation tab uh, under motions for uh, G3 humans here. Uh, I'm going to go to Elastic Folks Front since she is a front-facing character and go to perform. And under perform, we have a cool-looking meditation uh, animation that we can apply to our character just like this so she's she so you see she'll float just like this um like dalzim from street fighter or something now let's press f3 and go into the timeline here uh with our character selected let's go open go into the uh, motion track here and we have this motion clip that you can see here if i want to uh you know loop that i can just uh click uh, select the clip make sure i have loop toggled on here and just click and drag it a few more uh, times and then if I press space to playback, you see we'll have a nice uh, kind of smooth looking floating animation for our character there. Okay, so say we want to uh, have a more challenging yoga pose in this. We want to make her even more flexible. Well, we can do this by uh, using the motion key editor, uh, which is right here. If you have your character selected, you use the 2D motion key editor. And uh, if, you, if you want to see bones, you can have bones on. I normally don't like to have the bones on because I find they obstruct my view a little bit. You can change the size of the bones and the opacity, but I just like to kind of take them off here and select from the hierarchy here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the uh, right foot here, and I'm just going to click and drag that up like this, okay, to a more uh, flexible type of pose, just like this, okay. So really up there. All right, and then I'll just uh, select the left foot here, and uh, just click and drag, and see the human IK at work. And I'll just kind of put that right about there. And I'll rotate the foot a little bit, just like that. Kind of there and uh, scroll up and see the right foot and rotate that one just like this as well, just so they're kind of crossed uh, like this. Okay, now if we uh, play back, you can see you'll have our characters kind of floating like this and uh, we have a cool looking uh, yoga pose. Uh, in addition to that, I can uh, layer on some facial animation to that. Uh, if I go to the facial puppet tool, which is right here with the mouse beside it, I'll click that and uh, we can, you know, rotate our character. We, if we uh, press space, we can preview uh, what our character is going to look like. We can click the mouse buttons to uh, blink the eyes and stuff. We can choose all kinds of different profiles here. There's an angry profile. She's doing angry yoga for some reason. Or there's a super happy uh, yoga. She's enlightened. All right, so let's go ahead and just use the regular uh, facial profile, the general one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my mouse up and down slightly for the puppeting to kind of move along with the wave of her meditation there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, press record and then press space. So you can see it'll just go down like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, and I think we just have a nice smooth uh, bouncing animation just like that. Okay, good enough. Uh, so that's another way you can, uh, you know, edit on top of the uh, original animation. Let's do one final thing here using the sprite editor now. So uh, the sprite editor will allow you to uh, change any of the facial features or the body features uh, permanently. The, the sprite editor basically overlaps the uh, facial key editor and all the other clips that we have here. Um, the sprite editor kind of has the most, uh, most strength, most power uh, amongst all these animation tools. All right, so most priority, I guess I should say, not power. Okay, so let's go ahead and select our character's eyes, and let's use this eyes closed uh, item right here, okay, or sprite rather. Okay, so we have her enlightened. We can uh, select her lips there as well. We can have her kind of open, like, uh, you know, doing an um kind of expression on her face, okay? And let's just find somewhere where we think uh, it looks kind of nice right here. I think she looks very at peace uh, at this point here. And you can see that the sprite editing, uh, the sprite switching will be uh, in place for the entire duration of the animation, unless you switch it out, okay? Like I said, the sprites have top priority. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in and get a nice uh, close-up view of our character. And then let's go ahead and export into PSD files. So let's go to render and export PSD file. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to choose a higher resolution, maybe something like uh, 2500. 
And if we lock the ratio, it'll just uh, change the other number there as well. Um, because I don't really care about having this character in so many layers, I don't really need uh, the hands and the arms and everything as separate layers. All I basically want is just her in this pose to import into my other project. So I'm just going to flatten it all into one layer, and we'll go ahead and export that. And let's just export to the desktop as uh, yoga. Okay. And then on my desktop here, I can just double click on the yoga PSD file and there we go. So we have this character right here and the group, just basic simple image in one single group. Everything's flattened. Uh, everything's simple. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, with move, uh, with the move tool selected and auto select, I can just click and drag my entire character into this project here where I have the yoga uh, magazine cover prepared. All right, and it comes in like this. I can just press Control T to transform the uh, size of it. And I'm going to hold the Shift key for uni Uniform and Transform and click and drag on the edge here and just bring her down something like this. Okay, so this is a super useful uh, pr uh, process, exporting PSD files. Uh, put your character in any animation pose. Super useful process for, you know, creating any sort of uh, commercial material like this, whether it be educational or commercial or what have you. All right, so we have this nice, cool, uh, you know, pose and uh, character on the front of our magazine cover. If we want, we can throw in like uh, an eclipse there. Uh, let's use the eclipse tool over here and choose a nice kind of shadowy uh, color. And let's put a shadow underneath her body, something like this. All right, that'll work. And you can see the ellipse uh, layer is up right there. We can click and drag it down to blow everything else. There we go. Press enter. And if we want to, you know, transform that a little bit more, we can press control T and maybe just size it down a slight bit. There we go. All right. I think we'll work with that. Okay. So there we have our cool looking, uh, Reillusion, uh, yoga magazine cover. The whole thing was really simple to do. Just use a few animation tools in Crazy Talk Animator, uh, on your character using the, uh, key editors, the sprite editors. Um, to create a nice, cool-looking pose like this, uh, totally custom. So that's a really quick and simple tutorial. Hopefully you learned some useful tips along the way there. Uh, make sure you check out our other videos at our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next tutorial.